With an effort to keep students safe during the coronavirus pandemic, Columbus City Schools has made the decision to temporarily suspend in-person extracurricular activities and sports. We were very particular about making sure that we are using the word suspension. We have not canceled fall sports. We have suspended fall sports with, with the pure thought and energy that as things do improve, we will begin to reflect on our plan that we used for July. This decision made by the district comes after Columbus Public Health continues to see a rise in positive COVID-19 cases within the city. We are looking in, um, um, to hopefully one day be able to say, hey, the virus, the number of cases um, are decreasing, the number of positive cases are decreasing, and it is safe for our students to have, um, uh, to have this experience. Um, but right now, it, it, it's not. It's, it's not, and I don't want to chance that. Following the guidance and advice of health officials, Columbus Public Health says they would like to see a consecutive four-week decline in positive COVID-19 cases until in-person extracurricular activities can resume. As things improve, and we get to a point where we believe we can safely bring student athletes back into the fold, we will follow all of the acclimatization periods and those things to get students back and prepared to participate. On Tuesday, August 18th, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announced an order which takes effect Friday that provides guidance on organized sports. According to the governor's order, high school sports can resume this fall with the option to delay some sports until the spring if schools wish. In response to the governor's announcement, Columbus City Schools has released a statement. It reads in part, our priority is the health and safety of our students, their families, our staff, and the Columbus community. The district will review the governor's new guidance as it relates to interscholastic athletics and extracurricular activities. To read our complete statement and to stay up to date on any reopening decisions related to the district, visit our website at www.ccsoh.us reopening.